Hey guys, thank you for tuning in. Today I'd like to do an update on what I've been working on. I've been working really hard and I'm excited to show you all what I just pushed live for you to play with and give feedback on. First thing is, is a new interaction system. So you could hover over interactables such as uh, pipes, ducts, levers, etc. You'll see a name and some debug info for now. You'll also see that I kind of reworked the intake and exhaust ducts here to be a little bit more accurate. Uh, so you've got the blowers on each side, you have the port and starboard valves that feed the cabin, as well as the diesels, the return from the torpedo room, sorry, the electric uh, motor room. And if you hover over the valve, you could open them up and feed fresh air to the cabin or, of course, the diesels. Next up, I'll show you guys some cool animations I've added, including the third rocker arm set for starting the diesels with air. So basically what happened was these diesels were started through high pressure air. They stored air uh, for the GW engines at 30 atmospheres. So this valve will open the starting air flask and air will come through this pipe into the cylinder heads. Um, you'll see here that temporarily I've got these gauges, so please ignore them. Are not accurate. Basically you have the pipe pressure and you have the flask pressure. So once I open up this up the um, atmosphere equalizes or the pressure equalizes and now we're ready to start the engines. There we go. The engines have been started. We use a bit of pressure. We can now switch our uh, engine mode to operate and feed the diesel some gas. You'll see that this lever here is pushed down by the governor and I'll fill those diesels for now. Other thing I want to show you guys is I'm going to feed just a bit of air into starting mode. And you can see the third rocket arm here trying to start the diesels up. So air was fed into the chamber before the actual ignition occurred and enough RPM were achieved, the engine would start. However, we're running out of air. Our pressure is dropping in both the cylinder and the piping and we're going to be stuck in the water unfortunately. So we could either use um, high pressure air from the other flask on, on the uh, starboard diesel or use the main compressor, high uh, pressure air compressor, to refill the starting flasks and start the diesel. Let me actually barely open this guy and see what happens. We should have a big issue here. Not enough air is going through. Got to open up the pipe all the way. Beautiful. Clutch valves going to have those in eventually. Gravity fuel tank would be able to turn the fuel flow on and off, of course. When it's off, it would only make sense that the diesels die. Same thing with the air. Turn the air and take off. You should have significant negative air pressure inside the cabin. So you either die or the diesels die all day. So this is where I'm at. Good. Um, I've had a lot of fun adding these elements in, and I hope you guys enjoy playing with them, and I really look forward to feedback. Again, my goal here is realism, and eventually playability through AI help. Right, so you have a guy being able to do this for you. But if you want to step in and play, um, I really, you know, my goal is to make a sim where you could jump in and be able to do all this stuff. You get a command to hit, you know, let's say 100 RPM with the diesels or electric motors and it's your job to, to do this. Alright, thanks guys.